Hello there and welcome to my channel. My name is Doug and I'm back with another fountain pen review. Today's pen review comes courtesy of the generous loan of this Schaefer Tyrannus Ferrari Red Edition from subscriber and pen friend Eric Rollo all the way from Scotland. Eric bought this pen brand new and when it arrived at his house he didn't even open it but put it immediately in the mail to me here in Calgary, Alberta. Now that's what I call a fan. Of course you know that fan is just short for fanatic. What are some other synonyms for fanatic? Let's see what thesaurus.com says. Activist, addict, devotee, enthusiast, extremist, friend, freak, maniac, nut, radical, visionary, zealot, crank, crazy, demon, fool, monomaniac, ultrist. Wow. Can you use it in a sentence please, Alex? I'll take your pin, cuisine, Alex. Why, yes. Crazy demon fool jumped over the activist extremist maniac nut. But he was a visionary. And the question is, who is Eric Rollo? Ding, ding, ding. What do we have for Johnny? Is correct for a thousand points. So special thanks go out to Crazy Eric for loaning this never used pen for review. So let's slip into the cockpit of this Ferrari Red Racer and take it for a spin. <laughs> so let's slip into the cockpit of this Ferrari Red Racer and take it for a spin right now. <laughs> So oh, it's work, 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 work. I don't know. Work, 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 work. Hello, boys. Have a good night's rest. I missed you. I was just getting ready to do the review of this Pen BBS 471 when I was interrupted by the mailman. Oh. Candy Graham from Mongo. Hey, Mongo. Sign, please. Oh, that's so tiresome. And I got this package from a pen friend in Scotland. So I know what this is, but you're going to find out what this is. Hope I don't cut through anything. Maybe I should be more careful. There's the pen. Let's take a look at the note. I'm going to try to read this without giving away his address. Dear Doug, I write this short note with the pen that began my love affair with Schaefer pens. It is the Schaefer Touchdown 2 with a conical triumph nib. From the moment I saw it, I knew I had to have it. The ink I'm using is called Sapphire Blue from Diamine. I have some of that. And it too was love at first sight. To my latest acquisition, to me it looks like nothing I've seen before, and while it comes emblazoned with Ferrari logo and colors, this is a small price to save uh, two-thirds on, on the cost. It came to me that comparing it to a Targa would be a good test of the pen's quality compared to what many regard as Schaefer's finest writing instrument. Once more, congratulations on reaching the 2,000 milestone, and may things continue. I look forward to the video and your conclusions. Take care and remain safe. Eric, thank you so much, Eric. And this is the Ferrari packaging on a Schaefer pen. What Eric was talking about in his letter. And a nice padded box. And inside we have the Ferrari Red Schaefer Tyrannus. Very interesting. It has this really cool nib. Scuderia Ferrari. So, we shall give this Ferrari a test run and do a video on it. Thanks to Eric Rollo of Scotland for loaning me this pen for review. And we will take a look at that pen and on. What I'd like to do today is go over the parts and features of this pen, show some size comparisons and some measurements, and provide a writing sample. After the writing sample, please stay tuned as I'll discuss what I like and what I don't like so much about this pen. 
The Schaefer Tyrannus was named after the Celtic god of thunder, and it was designed by American architect Charles de Boss. This is one sleek, hot red fountain pen. The most striking feature is the Ferrari red, of course. I don't know how well this red shows up on camera, but it's even brighter than the box it came in. Once you get past the stunning color, the next couple of features that strike the eye, at least for me, are the Ferrari crest on the clip and the fact that the pen is square on the ends and round in the center. This is a metal pen and it does have some heft to it, but it doesn't really feel heavy. From the top, we see the aforementioned square finial and then the long curved sleek clip which is very stiff and not spring-loaded. It has the familiar Schaefer white dot, which used to stand for the Schaefer lifetime warranty, but now it's only one year. And here is the Ferrari Crest logo embedded in acrylic with the S and the F for Scuderia Ferrari, which in English means Team Ferrari, the Italian Formula One racing team. Just a heads up here, for all the US and Italian flag waving here with Schaefer and Ferrari, this pen is made in China. And there we go. Schaefer is part of the AT Cross Company. The company is in Providence, Rhode Island, and it's made in China. The cap tapers up from the square end and transforms into a cylinder and extends to a chrome band here, which is part of the section actually. There's an absolute flush transition to the barrel, which transforms from a cylinder to a square end finial at this end, which precisely mirror images the cap. These are very nice proportions here. The pen looks nicely balanced and elegant. The cap snaps off to reveal what is probably the most fascinating part of this pen. This section is unlike anything I've ever seen. Schaefer inlaid nibs are some of the most beautiful of any fountain pen manufacturer, like my Schaefer Targa right here. Beautiful 18 karat gold inlaid nib. But this section and the semi-hooded nib and feed are truly unique. I'd expect you'd either like this or hate it. I think it's spectacular. It's a chrome and black plastic long tapering section with a semi-hooded medium nib. Down the center band of the section is embossed Scuderia Ferrari. Here is a photo of a regular Schaefer Tyrannus, and you can see it just says Schaefer on the regular model. Other than that, the section is the same. The way the chrome and black plastic swoop around here towards this chamfered end, and the very small nib extends further beyond this now oval end of the section is stylistically really intriguing. I can see why Ferrari would enjoy being associated with this design. It's sleek, fast, and exciting looking. All right. On the back of the section here is an M for medium, silk screened in gold paint. There's only a small circle at the end of the nib slit and no other markings. The section unscrews to reveal a proprietary Schaefer script ink cartridge. The pen comes with two cartridges and a Schaefer converter. I decided to use one of the cartridges in Scrip Blue. And just inside the barrel, you can see a step. You see that's brass. And just inside there, there's a step. And that step pushes up against the bottom of the cartridge, which forces it into the section. And even when it's pierced, you can see it's tight there and give it another little half turn and it's very secure in there. Here's the cartridge converter that comes with the pen. As you can see, it's a Schaefer style. And it looks like a substantial and not one of your inexpensive cheapies. Although this part does not come apart. The cap posts deeply and securely, but I'm being careful as I'm not sure how well that red enamel paint will stand up to posting. The pen is plenty long enough in the hand to write with unposted, but is very nicely balanced when posted, and I prefer 
the look of the overall pen when posted like this. In fact, I find the balance a little bit more comfortable writing with when it's posted. Now let's look at some size comparisons. And here is the Schaefer Tyrannus Ferrari edition with a Schaefer Targa, a Schaefer VFM, a Fully Wen 2014, and a Pilot Metropolitan. Now let's look at them posted. And here they are posted. Now let's look at some measurements and I'll be back with a writing sample. And we're back with the writing portion of the review. This is Claire Fontaine 90 GSM paper and this is the Schaefer Tyrannus Ferrari Red and it is a medium steel nib and the ink today is Schaefer Grip blue. Let's check the wetness. This is very wet, right out of the box, and it's decently wet for a semi hooded nib. As to line variation, well, there is a no pressure line. And there's some pressure but it's really really stiff and I would not expect a tiny nib like that to give any flex so I would not push this at all this line according to Richard Binder's chart is exactly 0.5 millimeters in diameter or 0 0.020 inches which according to his chart is a Western fine or somewhere between a fine and a medium Japanese nib. Before I do a writing sample, I'm going to talk about this pen a little bit. It took a while to get this pen flowing, which is typical for a new pen with a cartridge. But once it got flowing, it writes actually very, very well. And this is extremely smooth. I have to say that it is glassy smooth with almost no feedback. I only experienced one interruption where it stopped completely in the middle of writing and it took some doing to get it writing again. But I chalked this up to an air bubble in the feed of a new pen. I squeezed a few drops out of the feed and then it wrote nicely after that. Now the pen does have a bit of a sweet spot. When you're writing in that sweet spot, it is very sweet indeed. It's very wet and it flows beautifully and it's glassy. You can hardly hear that at all. But if you rotate the pen in any direction, it's not very good. So you have to line it up for your own grip where you can find that sweet spot. And once you've found that, then it's fairly easy to get used to it. And for our writing sample quote, and for some reverse writing, it actually doesn't too, too badly, although it dries out and skips, but it's very smooth on the reverse as well and some quick writing. <laughs> Mr. Ford, you all right? I had no idea. 
I wish my daddy, he were alive to see this, <laughs> to feel this. Whoa, 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 whoa. That feed has no difficulties whatsoever. So, what do I like and what do I not like about this fountain pen? I like it a lot. Well, there are a lot of likes here. I was worried about the writing performance of this pen because Schaefer has not been known for their writing quality since offloading their manufacturing to China. I couldn't find an online outlet for the Schaefer Tyrannus in North America or Europe. However, on Amazon, the standard Tyrannus ranges from about $70 US to about $175 US. One of the top pens in my collection is a Schaefer, but it is a gold nib from the 1970s. I do have a Schaefer VFM, which I assume stands for value for money, but it is zero value for about 25 wasted US dollars and should be renamed the Schaefer POS in my opinion. So I was trepidatious when I inked this pen, and I was very pleasantly surprised when it turned out to write like butter. The like butter. The writing experience trumps most things with a fountain pen. It doesn't matter how gorgeous a pen is, if it is an unpleasant writing experience, you sour on the pen. Added to that, this unique semi-hooded nib with this sleek section, bright eye-popping Ferrari red, along with the terrific packaging, and a pen that feels great in the hand, and you have a definite winner in my books. Look at this now! There are only a couple of things that I would comment on that are a bit negative. The way this pen has a narrow window of writing, that sweet spot, in terms of rotation, takes some getting used to. I bet it could be tuned to widen that sweet spot to be more forgiving. For example, writing in my journal, when I write towards the curve on the inside spine of the journal, the pen doesn't perform well because of the roll off where other pens do. Also to be picky, the embossed lettering on this section is too big. I try to imagine if the chrome strip here were engraved with a light script or even an metallic block lettering, that chrome stripe would look a lot cooler. And this model doesn't even say Schaefer anywhere on this pen. You can tell that Schaefer thought that the name Ferrari would sell more pens than the name Schaefer. And the other little bugaboo for me is fingerprints. That section is a fingerprint magnet. So there you have it. If you like this video, please like and subscribe and don't forget to ring that bell to get instant notifications whenever a new video is posted. And that just leaves it for me to say, Thank you for watching. And that's all she wrote.